Hey everybody, you're here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in Resident Evil Resistance going for the I Need Healing Achievement. This one's going to be a Survivor side achievement, so make sure you go to Quick Match on Survivor. It's going to be another character specific achievement that's going to require us to play as Samuel. It is to escape a game as Samuel without healing. Now, it's going to be highly recommended that you do this with a friend who can play as Valerie, because even though you can't do the healing yourself, you can have other teammates heal you. So having a healer in the group is going to be super beneficial, especially since we aren't going to be able to heal ourselves. There's also going to be a couple of benefits to this little caveat being the way that it is. If you happen to get down, you are able to have a teammate pick you up. That is not going to count against the achievement. If you happen to go down and then die and happen to need to respawn, respawning is not going to count against you for the achievement. It's just going to be to make it to the end without using any healing items yourself. Now, normally Samuel is going to be a melee type of character. Obviously, we're going to just ignore that and we're going to buy a machine gun, which is going to allow us to keep our distance. The strategy to get this done efficiently is to just stand behind your group and then just make sure you pick your shots from far away. Our goal is to take as little damage as possible because if we are not taking any damage, we're not going to need any healing. And if we don't need to heal, we're not going to heal ourselves and void the achievement. So that's going to be the name of the game. Of course, this achievement, like the rest of the achievements in this game, is going to be super duper easy if you can get a friendly mastermind. So if you can get a friend on the mastermind side who is going to be willing to help you out, you can just have them not spawn in any new zombies nor place any new traps, and that way we just have to work with whatever the map has by default. So just play super duper conservatively. Hopefully your teammates can get the objective done a good chunk on their own. Everyone's going to meet up at the exit. If you happen to take any damage, make sure you have the Valerie player pick you up. Best way to do that is to have her use her ultimate ability, which is going to place up an area of effect. And if you stand in it, you should be able to get your health back. So definitely do take advantage of that and make sure you have the Valerie player save their ultimates for whenever you do need to get some health back. Once you get to the second stage, you are going to definitely want to stay behind your group for this, as the first thing everyone needs to do is they need to locate the security guard zombie. Once you find them, we're going to need to take it out. If you are boosting this with a friendly mastermind player, you can have the mastermind player take over the security guard zombie, which is going to basically make it a sitting duck. Everyone's just going to want to aim for the head and then just blast away. Remember, the person who picks up the card that the security guard drops is going to be the one that needs to deactivate all of the terminals. So make sure that you aren't the one that does that. Instead, we're going to just head straight for the exit. Make sure you do take your time as there's probably still going to be hazards along the way. If you happen to come across any of the terminals along the way, you can interact with them to ping them for the person who does have the key card. So make sure you do take advantage of that. But for the most part, you're just going to head to the exit and then you're going to have the person who is carrying carrying the card do the bulk of the work, which is going to be to locate the three terminals. You can have the other teammates help out as well, because again, if they happen to come across a terminal, they can interact with it, and then that's going to reveal the location for the person who is carrying the key card. So just make sure you do that, and then once all three terminals have been deactivated, everyone's going to meet up at the exit. Again, if you took any damage, just make sure you have the Valerie player use their ultimate to heal you and the rest of the team, and we should be able to head into the third and final stage super duper fresh. So the objective for the third and final stage is to destroy all three of the biohazards. Since we aren't going to be taking lead on this, we're going to continue our strategy of falling back and having our teammates do the bulk of the work. Now, because we aren't going to be a big help, we can make ourselves useful. We should have accumulated a bunch of money and we're just going to invest in ammo and we can use this ammo to just give to our teammates so they have enough firepower to deal with the tanks on their own for the majority of this stage. So make sure you do take advantage of that. A big part of this stage in terms of time management is making sure everyone has enough ammo to deal with the tanks without needing to return to the spawn room to restock. So if you are able to donate your resources to helping out your team not run out of ammo, that's going to be all much better. They should have a way better time of dealing with the biocord tanks. And then once all three of them are blown up, it's going to be time to navigate to the exit. You're going to want to stand there and then you're going to need to defend yourself in a normal game. And of course, if you are boosting this, just make sure you have the friendly mastermind player who's helping you out to not spawn anything during this final sequence. And just make sure you have everyone meet up at the exit. Again, if you took any major damage, have the Valerie player heal you during this moment. 
and you should be able to make it across the finish line a-okay without using any healing items yourself. So as long as you have the team that is going to be good enough to carry you all the way to the end, you should definitely be able to make it with all these caveats in place. Not being able to heal yourself isn't going to be a big deal breaker, as again, you can take advantage of your team healing you, as well as having the ability to be downed and respawn not count against you either. So just make it to the end once you cross that finish line, assuming you didn't use any healing items on yourself during the course of the run, you should be good for the achievement. There it is, it's going to be for 15 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.